This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to go over all of the new features of iOS 17.5, which just released to the public today. And then we're going to go over if you should update or if you should hold off on this one. Uh, we're going to talk about all of that in this video. And I'm not going to drag this video out for eight minutes like other YouTubers. I'm going to get straight to the point. So let's get to it. First off, if you haven't already, you can go download iOS 17.5 from your settings app uh, right here, and you will be able to get all of these features that I'm talking about right now. All right. So the first major new feature is actually for the the EU. It's not for the US and that's web distribution of apps. So what that means is that eligible developers can uh, distribute iOS apps to EU users via the web instead of the app store. So it's just uh, some silly thing that the EU government wants Apple to do. So they let them do it. Just be advised, you know, that downloading things from the internet rather than the app store uh, can lower your security and privacy. So just keep that in mind. Next up, this is something that probably no one cares about, but if you use the Apple News app, uh, if you are a plus subscriber, there's a new game called Core Tiles. You can play that. But I'm not sure how many people actually use Apple News or how many people actually play those games. Next up, this one's actually pretty exciting. It's called Repair Mode. So what this allows you to do is to potentially send your iPhone in for repair without turning off Find My. So I know everyone in the past when they send their iPhone in, maybe to get a new battery in the back or a screen repair, you're supposed to turn off Find My before you send it in. Well, with this new repair mode, you might be able to just skip that step and just put on repair mode and send your phone in just like that. Now, I don't use the podcast app, but if you do, it now color changes to match the podcast cover art. So that is pretty cool. If you do use that, it's just a nice little feature change. This update is not big. The 17.5 update does not have a ton of new features. As you can see, we're talking about a color changing widget. Now, if you use MDM, which most of you probably do not, but if your phone is corporately managed, the MDM administrators can now force iOS beta versions on the phone instead of just regular, you know, public versions. So that's kind of interesting. Now, if you have an iPad, this next feature is going to be pretty cool. We don't know exactly which iPads it's going to roll out to, but there were strings of code in this new 17.5 update that indicate that there may be a battery health settings menu on the iPad. Now, this might just be for the new iPads that are about to launch. Uh, who knows? But it is in the code for the iPad OS. So Keep that in mind and stay on the lookout in case they roll that out to the older iPads. You never know. Obviously, the new Apple Pencil is going to work great with 17.5, so you guys can enjoy that. And then there are two more little features changes here before I talk about performance, battery life, and all that, so stay tuned. Now, Apple and Google teamed up so that third-party trackers like Tile, Chipolo, uh, Eufy, things like that, that they're not the Find My tags, but they use Find My. Apple and Google are teaming up so that those third-party trackers can hopefully combat misuse of the trackers. This way, if you're using one of those third-party trackers, uh, you'll get one of those, you know, tracker found moving with you or whatever for people that are misusing these things. So that's interesting. We'll see how that rolls out, uh, but it should be a good thing, net positive for everyone. And lastly, you can block all participants in a group FaceTime call. That's obviously to kind of cut down on spam for people that were experiencing that. Now let's talk about heat battery life performance on 17.5. So here's the crazy thing. 17.5 has been super rock solid except for one point. I've not seen any other YouTuber mentioned. So performance, super fast. Opening apps, everything's fast, no crashes, nothing like that. It's been rock solid. But the issue comes in when you go into notes and you start typing, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. It's, it's laggy. Like the keyboard, you can probably see that. I don't know, because it's only 24 or 30 frames per second for this video, but it's laggy. Like the, the letters are slow. I don't understand why. It's only in the notes app that I've seen. Maybe the reminders app seems very weird. I know Apple is planning on a big revamp for the notes and the reminders app with iOS 18, but why it's laggy right now, I don't know. It is very aggravating because I use the notes app quite a bit. So something to keep note of, but not a deal breaker at all for this update. Overall, everything is pretty good. So performance wise, everything's good. Heat wise, not noticed any extra heat. Battery life has been on par with all the other 17 versions, so no issues there. So should you update? That's what you all are here to hear about. The answer is yes, I do believe you should update. I don't see any major downsides besides the typing issue in notes and possibly the reminders app, no big deal overall. Anyways, if you like this short and sweet video, drop it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I got way more coming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.